Uh, greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Listen, um, some uh, very useful advice that I uh, picked up from an attorney, uh, internet attorney, of course, you know, available on YouTube. Um, I recently found out that, uh, well, let's just say this. If the police ever want to come into your house, um, if, you know, if they have a warrant, make them break the door down. Don't let them in. I, I mean, I know that from personal experience. But, uh, long story. But uh, the deal is this. Unless you're a witness of a crime and you're uh, t explaining what happened or you're the victim of a crime, you should never, 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 never talk to police they're not your friends and uh, just remember corrupt politicians are not going to hire honest police because honest police would arrest arrest corrupt politicians so so if they haul you in and uh, or call you in and say hey we you know we'd like to talk to you and ask you a few questions the answer is uh well, you can't even plead the fifth anymore. Believe it or not, the Supreme Court got rid of the Fifth Amendment, uh, pleading the fifth, the right to self, uh, you know, right to remain silent, self-incrimination. Now they'll arrest you for uh, impeding a police investigation. Yeah, that's how close we are to being a communist, uh, you know, country. But the, uh, the best thing you could do is say, you know what, I will be happy to answer any and all your questions, but I need to speak to legal counsel first. I need to speak to an attorney, my attorney first. And then uh, ask them, am I being detained or am I free to go? And, you know, if they ask to search your car, you say, I do not consent to a search. Just keep repeating those words. Am I free to go or am I being detained? And keep asking for a lawyer. That's all, you know, that's what you need to do. Um, obviously, I'm not a lawyer, but that's what the legal counsel suggests to say. Because, you know, even if you make a mistake, let's say the police are asking you, well, where were you Wednesday? You say, oh, I was over at uh, JoJo's house on Wednesday, but actually it was Thursday. But you're, you made a mistake thinking it was Wednesday. They'll actually use that against you. Remember the thing, anything you say can and will be used against you? Yeah. And they'll actually say, oh, well, they lied. he lied to police. I mean, you know, and they'll get you for perjury, even if they can't get you for whatever crime they're trying to pin on you. Uh, they'll get you for perjury. So better to say, you know what, I need to talk to an attorney before I answer any questions. Uh, there were two police officers in Miramar, Florida. Uh, that's in the, um, so basically a suburb of Fort Lauderdale, between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. They pinned a crime they planted evidence and pinned a crime on a, uh, I think he was an autistic kid, you know, low IQ. And uh, the family didn't believe it was murder, if I remember correctly. And uh, the family, you know, they didn't believe it. And they spent years hiring attorneys and forensic experts. And finally, they proved that the kid did not per, uh, do the crime. He served 19 years in prison and guess what the one cop he retired and collect his pension nothing ever happens to them they can kill you and nothing happens to them i mean it's just unbelievable oh he got fired well big whoop de doo he got fired for the the city police department now he goes and works for the county to police department you know that's how it works uh it's Police are not your friends. Keep that in mind. No, I do not consent to any searches. Am I being detained 
or am I free to go and I would I need to speak to an attorney my attorney before I answer any questions uh, three very important phrases to know so keep that in mind and obviously I'm not an attorney this is not legal advice but uh, this is what I've been gleaning from um, attorneys who uh, give advice to people so keep that in mind all glory to Jesus amen <clears throat>